Wow, we have just arrived at the Imperial Hotel, and I can't tell you how happy we are to be here, yeah, <laughs> both for crazy. the luxury and the history as well. I mean, this is one of the finest examples you will see of Art Deco architecture, possibly in the world. And we're going to go take a little walk later and look at it all, but holy cow, it is a truly historical hotel, uh, including the fact that Gandhiji, Nehru, and um, the Viceroy met at this hotel when they were dis discussing partition. And holy cow, take a look at this room. Absolutely outrageous. I'm afraid to disturb the bed. It's so lovely. That's the best made bed I've ever seen. That is some tight corners. You can pay the toilet and bathroom area, tub, shower, and all. My, oh my, it is quite lovely. Kub surate. Bahat bahat. Well, I think it's about time to change out of these dirty old raggy clothes remaining from our journey, our nine hour journey from Shimla and have a look at the hotel. Let's go check that out. Okay, Duntehain, let's go explore. You have the key, yeah? You can remember where our room is. Yeah, 347. Wow, look at these beautiful Art Deco pattern right here on the elevator. Amazing, amazing stuff. The first thing that we considered doing was going over to have high tea. They have a lovely room reserved for this, and I'm sure the tea and pastries must be amazing. Sadly, we were too late to enjoy this amenity, so I would recommend checking out times of availability if this is something you really want to experience here at the Imperial Hotel. The bar here at the Imperial Hotel is called the 1911 bar, as in the year. Since we can't avail ourselves of high tea, why don't we go have a drink and see what that's like? But first, Let's zip up Shanti's dress. Okay, let's go. As an American, I drink bourbon, and in India, as in Europe, it's much more common to find whiskey. I'm happy to report that I did, in fact, find a bourbon on the list at the 1911 bar. This looks really lovely. What is it? It is paneer with, paneer with chutney, chutney inside, right? But I didn't want the green chutney uh, all over. Again, I wish we could do like smell o vision because this smells so good. Bahat Kushbuhe. Lovely, lovely. Uh oh, getting a little low on the old fashioned. What to do now? Well, after our drinks and a snack, it was time to go see what this beauty looks like from the outside. Can't wait to see. Tanya Vatsab? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Have our uh, anniversary party here? That would be great, yeah. I don't think anybody would come. Well, so be it then. <laughs> it's an excuse to come back. I mean, this is this an Art is Deco insane. gem. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Super line centric. Look at how great is this? I'm and these grounds, oh my god, so well manicured. I feel guilty even walking on this lawn. Wow, that is something. 1936. This is amazing. So I see other Americans and English people here, not just, right? Not so just Tessies. And look at the, um, the lights even, right? Very nice, very lovely. It's more beautiful than, you know how you go to a hotel and on video it seems uh, like it's going to be Yeah, like you so know, it can't be and that you pretty. Here and you're like, and eh. then you're like, but yeah. This is like actually better than, this it, is, yeah, than I expected it to be. A lovely, lovely slice of history. And to be able to stay, in, stay right here in it is such an honor. I wonder what room Gandhiji had. Or if he drank at the bar. 
I'm he, sure someone special had our room because it is gigantic. It is nice, and it's overlooking the courtyard and, and everything that is else. Sweet. Yeah. Well done, American Express Travel. Let's go over here. Let's see what's happening. Sure. I know, these birds are pretty funky. They're making very interesting sounds. Now, what's this building over here? Let me turn around and get a shot of this thing. That is, I don't know what that is, brutalist style, <laughs> with a couple of lines thrown in. Yeah, that is true. You kind of hear the birds and you hear the sounds of the city, but it's a bit of an oasis. Wow, look at this doorway. What an honor to stay at this hotel. Look at these flowers. The gardening is superb. Every single piece of flora has been manicured and developed meticulously. If you find yourself in Delhi, I highly recommend that you get a chance to come here and immerse yourself in this unparalleled beauty. The Imperial Health and Racket Club. Sadly, we left our rackets back home, but perhaps next time. Uh-oh, I got a good feeling about this next stop. There seems to be a lot of water going on. I'm guessing this is the pool. See if we can grab a glimpse of this thing. I'm sure, it's another gem. Oh man, oh man. Check this out. Wow. Now that is a classic Art Deco ornamentation. The use of negative space and flat, flat ornamentation. Right, gone of the, are the days of the Victorian era when things were popping out and curvy, linear and and such. Now you have something set back with a visual that is flat. Let's see. Don't want to disturb the high paying guests. But man oh man, that is what I call a pool. Thank you. Almost got it. Oh, that smell is so good. Wow. Wow. So nice, huh? Yeah, this way and then left, I think. Yeah. Wow, what great lithographs. They could just come and hang out in the hallway. These hallways are cool, right? Yeah. Very, uh, wow, and obviously original based on the aging stains. Such an elegant place, huh? So, did you know? You have the key, huh? I do. Oh, no, I oh she has it somewhere. Right here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, though. Grand Hotel of Delhi, and it was opened in 1936 by the Viceroy, the then Viceroy, uh, Lord Willingdon. Uh, matter of fact, his wife was present and named the hotel and picked out the lion that is still used as its logo. What are your thoughts on the hotel, Shanti? I have never been so impressed by a hotel in my life, and we just came from an Oberoi Hotel, which is also a heritage uh, property, but this is something completely at a different level, I would say. I'd have to agree. I mean, technically, the hotel is a blend of Art Deco, Victorian, and uh, colonial styles. And you can see on the exterior, which we'll take a look at in a minute, it's very line-centric, and there's all sorts of Art Deco artifacts and decorations and amenities. Uh, posted throughout the structure. Uh, the light, light fixtures. The light fixtures above us. I don't know if you can see this in the camera angle. The sunburst patterns above the um, 
the uh, cabinetry. The cabinetry, really, really lovely stuff. And I think you'll see when we're walking around the halls that this hotel lives up to the hype. As a matter of fact, it is one of the most prestigious and uh, has the best legacy uh, of all hotels here in Delhi. Uh, Gandhiji, uh, Nehru, and uh, Viceroy Mountbatten met here to discuss the partition of India herself. So you can imagine the characters and the historical figures who have come through these doors. Many and presidents, right? Many presidents. And, uh, here, yeah. and now Awol and Shanti, so <laughs> I mean, what could be better? The next morning, we were getting ready to visit Old Delhi, and as you can tell in some of my other videos, it's a rather hectic place. We decided, let's get some breakfast in us before we go. So let's go see how the Imperial does breakfast. Hi, sorry. No problem. Good morning. Can I get your number? Sorry? Can I get your number? Oh, sure. 326? Yeah, 347. 347, <laughs> sorry. But if you want to charge it to 326. <laughs> They had a very nice omelette bar, so we took full advantage of that, and then we swung around the buffet to see what was on offer there. Can we get coffee this one? I think I'm gonna get this one. a hot one in Delhi today. Before we split and go to Old Delhi, see what that's like, I thought we'd get one more look at the immense grandeur of the Imperial Hotel. I mean, it really is something. Striking inside and out. And I can't wait to experience the contrast between this ultimate level of luxury and the sort of more common old world features of Old Delhi. Behind me you can hear the sounds of the cars and the auto rickshaws just behind that wall. It's a totally different world. Hustling, bustling. It's funny, this, this is primarily an Art Deco hotel, but you can see touches and dabs of the colonial architecture, like those lions on top of the doorway. Excuse me, pigeons. Nice to see that we have pigeons everywhere both in New York and here in Delhi. This is interesting. These light fixtures here, which light up at night, have both Art Deco, almost Art Nouveau bottoms, and sort of a imperial architecture up top. Wow. Sounds like the pump might be going, but aesthetically it certainly is a beautiful thing to behold. Wow, man. I don't know, they call pigeons flying rats, but they have a certain charm here. Maybe it's because I'm uh, on holiday. Look at this place, would you? Unbelievable. Yeah, it's gonna be a stark, stark contrast. There you can see the gate with the uh, Saab sort of monitoring the traffic outside and keeping the two worlds at a bit of a distance. Hard to believe we're gonna leave the posh gates and be wandering around one of the most densely populated parts of the world but I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what it's like. And what's better, maybe I'll get a chance to practice my feeble Hindi. It's been working well so far. Getting a warm reception as a Gora that Bolte Tori Tori Hindi. So let's hope that continues. Wow.